be a very interesting matchup in general. Prana Plant taking on Snake here. Apollo Kage, one of the better snakes in the past year or so. And uh, even just a great snake offline as well. I believe they're number one in the region, which is Missouri? Uh, we'll go with Missouri. Um, follow us uh, Follow us on tw Twitter at ClamHat underscore at Skip Talks at forward smash Piranha Plant. Uh, Scaf, Scaf is letting Apollo, uh, Scaf is letting Apollo Kage know if you, a thing or two right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, that was actually uh, a hell of a way to start this off. Um, Piranha Plant, down I, shield break. Yeah, uh, I honestly don't believe that Piranha Plant has too bad of a time with Snake. Like, yeah, the grenades can be a lot. Piranha Plant's movement isn't exactly humongous, but it's not like his hurt box is super crazy. And he does have that one move of. Uh, Patui to kind of really mess with Snake in some really awkward scenarios. That actually worked against him a lot. But generally, it's not I don't yeah. think it's a bad matchup for Plant, but it definitely isn't, like, amazing. <laughs> it's definitely interesting to see two characters that have two, like, I'm going to hit the B button, and your combo is over now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, it's, it, like, Patui's, Patui it can definitely be, like, Grenade Jr. at times. Right. Um, but it, it has a little bit of different utility as well. Uh, I don't know if I really say it's grenade junior. It, it it does have a lot of different utility. Plus, it does like twenty percent when it connects. It's got That's some true. crazy. That is angles. a lot of percent. It is a lot, yeah. And uh, it actually can work as a little bit of like a counter. So like that, I would say is definitely very similar to how grenade can work, where you kind of pull it out and uh oh, that <laughs> that's a sticky on his head. I think it switched. I don't know where it is. Yeah. It might still be there. No, it is. Where'd it go? I don't know. I should be falling off at some point. Oh, it was. Okay. It was still <laughs> We on. know where it is. <laughs> All right. And yeah, I just double checked here. Yes, they are in Missouri. I believe they're number one down there. If not, it's very competitive in general. Um, but yeah, Apollo Kage, very fantastic player, as we can see right here. After losing that first stock to a shield break, of all things, um, has been on an absolute tear, taking two stocks in a row, could potentially take all three in a row here. And that's one of those instances right there where Patui can work as a sort of counter attack uh, if the mm -hmm. opponent is not paying attention. And even if, like, even if you are paying attention, grenades, like, but with the combination of grenades and Patui, it might not even matter. Mm -hmm. Like... Grenade, like grenades and Patui, just like it, uh, it creates so many hitboxes on the screen that neither player have direct agency over. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ledge trap! Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, the okay. up smash is uh, gonna catch him when the invincibility runs out, and uh, yeah, that's going to be game one. Paulo Kaga taking three straight stocks. <laughs> yeah, well, is it, there's there's not a name for that because it's not a reverse three stock. It's just like a medium three stock. Yeah. <laughs> a medium, medium three stock with a side of fries. Yeah, can I get a large three stock? Yeah. Well, okay, that actually makes sense. So, okay, depending on how many stocks you lose, it's either a small, medium, or large three stock. <laughs> McDonald's three stock commentary meta. <laughs> actually, no, I kind of like that. Yeah, a large three yeah. stock is not losing any stocks. Uh, right. A medium is losing the first stock, then taking the next three, and then the the final one, which would be the reverse three stock. That's a small three stock. I, I like yeah, that. I, yeah. I, I like what you're on, dude. You need to eat some food. <laughs> you I are have a, hungry. I have a banana here that I'm just like looking longingly at, and I'm <laughs> just, just waiting. I'm waiting bites. for the first ad. I'm I'm waiting for the first ad break so I can just chow down. <laughs> just take some bites when you need to, King. Jeez. Oh, man. You know what? I might just do that right now. You hear that? You hear that <laughs> banana, you banana peel ASMR? Actually, yeah, it sounds, it sounds kind of nice. I'm not usually a big fan of, uh, of like, just raw banana, but I love making uh, some smoothies with, like, banana and strawberries. Mm. Honestly, one of the best damn things I think I could ever eat in this world is just a strawberry banana uh, smoothie. That's, oh, oh, man, so beautiful. I agree. <laughs> Well, we're going to be getting into our game two here. 
Uh, as we get to enjoy this game too with Apollo Kage and Scaff putting on a show, Clam Hat is going to be enjoying some banana on the side. I'm back, well, dude. I'm back. I'm ready to You're go. Back. I had my I had my one bracing bite of banana, and I'm back. So really, in game one, um, after that opening shield break, it was definitely Apollo Kage weathering the storm and putting Scav kind of in the blender a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you almost see the same setup there. Um, that, uh... He's got the C4 on him. Oh my god! Th th this shield is not allowed to live here. Oh, he's got a second one on him. <laughs> okay. And it's... I mean... I, uh, I don't know. Like, you gotta be able to do something about that, right? Like, I mean, somewhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think what happened is the Scaf had a really hot start there, right? Being able to get that shield break had some good pressure. And then yeah. Apollo Kage just kind of went like, oh, okay, you know, maybe it's time to actually play here. And, and now yeah. it's honestly just putting on a show. This is now four straight stocks. Oh, no. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, beat Cleaver. Oh, nope, never mind. Tactical, exp tactical espionage action? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Apollo Kage putting on an absolute clinic. You know, I did say, and I still believe, that Piranha Plant doesn't do too bad against Snake. But the way that uh, uh, Apollo Kage is playing right now, it, it's looking bad for Scaff. Apollo Kage choreographed that up tilt. He's oh, he like, had okay, to. on beat five, you're gonna be right here. And Scaff's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I Just show me the music cue, my man. <laughs> oh, oh, beat Cleaver. Oh! <laughs> So anyway, we're going to get into our next set here. He's been um, trained his whole life to be a soldier. This is just what he does. This is just what he does. Like he just